Another topic that, that I know some, some people are particularly concerned about is the risk of potentially needing a blood transfusion, uh, either during or, or, or soon after the, the operation. Yeah. So, so again, so we do a lot of things to try and reduce the risk of, of blood transfusions. Um, obviously, you use diathermy during the operation. Um, the uh, it's very very common now, and in the recent nice guidance about uh, hip replacement, um, it talks about using a, a drug called trax, tranexamic acid, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, very commonly used in surgery now, and it's given uh, at the time of the operation. Um, and it significantly reduces the risk of, of needing a blood transfusion afterwards, reduces the blood loss. So you know, everybody should really be getting, getting that. Um, but the chance of having a blood transfusion is pretty small. So again, maybe it's kind of one or 2% um, you know, in, a, in a lot of units. Um, and uh, you know, there, are, there are certain things that, that we can do if patients have a specific you know, bleeding risk, for example. Um, we can use things like uh, what we call cell salvage. So we use suction during the operation to sort of take away any blood that accumulates. Um, and we have machines where that can go, you know, and it gets uh, filtered uh, through machine in the operating theater, you know, pumped into a bag and then given back to the patient. So in the really bigger operations and the revisions and things like that, where there's quite a lot more blood loss, mm -hmm. you know, we would routinely use that. So the patient's own blood then gets recycled and given back to them.